Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Warmaster101. I'm bringing you a new tutorial today from the Everglades, Florida. And as the title of the video says, I am going after the trophy peacock butterfly bass. I'll show you first of all the equipment and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the swims that I use. And you'll uh, hopefully get some uh, good results from listening to these tutorials. First things first, let me just show you the setup. Right, I'm using a Brutus 1010 with an Esperia Double Punch uh, 6500. Basically use the strongest float fishing stuff you got. Okay. Now, on there you see that I'm using a 6 hot hook. But I'm going to suggest for anybody not really uh, wanting to sit there for hours just catching what you can put down to a 5 volt hook that should give you a nice uh, uh, a good amount of uh, fish coming in at a time I'm using shiners my uh, <laughs> I'm fishing right off the surface here because they don't care as long as it's dead and it's not moving they'll go for it but the problem is though that they also attract gar so there we go and we're using a pear shaped bobber float for the uh well for this particular setup and we're going to go here which is the floating thickets so let's get on with the fish in and see how we get on the fish in it would help if i actually went into a private room <laughs> means what I have to do is minimize that now and away we go okay now if we have a look at our bite indicator we will start picking up about 11 so that's when we're going to start our fishing session okay now we pull up our rod okay now it's about location 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 like every other time of, fi uh, time of fishing Something going on with my fish there, he's like at a weird angle. But anyway, you'll see the dead tree. You come down to that and to the left of those uh, lily pads there. And cast that about there, about 100 and, well, between 100 and 110 feet out is the sweet spot for them. There you go, 94, that's perfect. Look at that, almost straight away. We've got some attraction. Now, you, with this setup, you'll attract Florida Gar as well as our target fish. No, that was a false bite. Cast out, see how we get on. There we go, first fish of the day. Didn't take that long now, did it? The way it's uh, not fighting, uh, give the impression that, yep, there is first peacock butterfly trophy of the day. ka -ching. A nice five pounder. One complaint at all. There we 
go. That's an unusual ca way of catching a fish, but okay. <laughs> what happened there was I was starting to reel in because I was getting a little bit too close to those lily pads, and I thought, well, better save myself from a snag. And all of a sudden, this fish decided to jump on, and oh, look, it's a Florida gar. Not exactly what I was looking for, but still not exactly welcome. You know, unlike the alligator gar back in Missouri, which I've still got to do a video for, these things seem to be enjoying the spotted look. Ugly son of a bitch, isn't it? Okay guys, now as an advisory, there is another place you can fish, rather than just around this area here. You can swing to the right and just in front of that thicket there, well that uh, dead tree, and then you've got this lily pad here to the right of that. That's a nice place to also cast. Uh, you have a higher success rate uh, depending on... Uh, well, depending on yourself, really, if you uh, want to uh, try that area as well, it's up to you. This is also another place, one of the few places that you can actually have a chance of running into a unique. So, keep that in mind as well. Uh, but the bites are less frequent for myself. But we'll give it a go and see how we get on. Fish on. There we go. Here we come. Another little trophy. Kitchen. It's quite a large trophy as well, six pounds. There we go. And yet another one. Fish on. It's no bloody guy. Right. Now then, there is another place that you can go. And it's over here at uh, the infinite, uh, Infinity Tunnels. So if we go over there now, and what you do is you come to this very corner, and you aim out, and there's some thickets just over there, and you aim for that, as far out as you can bunt it. Try and get it as close to this left side as you can. I've gone a little bit far to the right, but should hopefully still get some kind of bite here. There you go, fish on. Almost straight away that time. Remember to control the fish, don't let the fish control you. It's another nice little peacock. Beautiful little fish. Right, 
Alright and boys and girls, well thanks very much for watching. I'm going to leave you in the hands of a montage video now of some of the best catches I caught during the making of this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like and leave me a comment. Hopefully in the next video I will be going after either the largemouth bass or the alligator gar in, back in Missouri. Uh, please leave a comment on which you would like to see first. But as always, take care. And I'll catch you next time.